This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Final Cut Pro 10.3. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to organize the magnetic timeline using roles. This is using some footage that was provided to us by John Putch. It's from his film Route 32. And what I have are a series of establishing B-roll shots and then talking heads from our actors. And then under that, I have sound effects of winter wind because it's cold. And then musical tension because this is a throbbing soap opera dramatic scene. And then crickets because uh, we need them. <laughs> it's a short answer. We just need them. But look at how my clips are lined. This is the standard way that we lay stuff out on a magnetic timeline. It really doesn't make any difference, the stacking order of our audio, because it'll just fit wherever it fits in the magnetic timeline. We adjust the levels, everybody's happy. If I double click the audio, this opens up so I can see what my audio splits look like and control uh, overlap of different clips from one to the other. So again, there's nothing unusual here. What Apple has done is they've implemented what are called roles. Roles are a way of organizing the timeline that significantly enhances how audio mixing and editing works. Let me illustrate. I'm going to select all the clips that have talking head audio. I'm going to right mouse click on it. I'm going to assign the audio role of a dialogue. I can assign sub roles. I talk about that in my training, but just to illustrate this, I'm going to keep it simple. We'll select dialogue. These have now been given the dialogue role. Okay, now I'm going to double click each of these because it helps me to explain what's going on and put them back. This is called an attached clip. And that's called a deta detached clip. So we're going to attach it again. I don't have to, but for the purposes of my illustration, you'll understand why in a minute. Now, winter wind. We can actually assign roles in five different places. If I go to the media here, up here, and right mouse click on a clip, I can assign roles inside the browser. With the clip selected, I can assign roles in the modify menu. With a clip selected, I can assign roles in the inspector. With the clip selected, I can assign roles inside the timeline, and I can even assign roles inside the timeline index, which gives you an idea of how important roles are to the organization of our timeline. By the way, this footage is part of the practice footage that will be shipping with my training. It's from Edit Stock, and it's a wonderful documentary of a farmer in British Columbia, not him, him, farmer in British Columbia, who is looking at doing old-fashioned farming, horses and doing it by hand, and teaching younger folks today how we used to do farming 100 years ago. Some beautiful images, and I'm having fun playing with them. Okay, let's go back to this clip, and let's assign an audio role. This is sound effects, so we're going to assign it the audio role of effects. Look what just happened. I didn't touch a thing, but the role took over and said, wait a minute. I'm an effect clip. I can't associate with a dialogue clip. These are dialogue clips. These are dialogue clips. These are dialogue clips because that's the default setting for a role. Okay, well, let's just take music here, and we're going to assign the audio role of music. Watch the clip in two, one, woof. Whoa! It's color-coded, and the music clip does not associate with the dialogue clip and does not associate with the winter wind clip. I'm going to assign this the audio role of effects. And look what we've got now. We have a color-coded timeline based upon roles, and if you create sub-roles, and I have done this and continue to do it. For instance, under titles, I'll have a, an English title, a French title, a Spanish title, or under roles, I could have sync sound for my interviews and B-roll for my pictures. I can really divide this up into as much detail as I want. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Final Cut Pro 10.3. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 207. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you 
money, and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.